I, you don't have sorry in your vocabulary. I don't have sorry in my vocabulary. We've had a lot of great memories. Yeah. Still making new ones too. It is that time of the day. Five questions with Evan and Nina. You asked questions on Instagram. We answered them here on YouTube. Get to know me and Nina a little more. You ready? Sure. Okay. Question number one. What's your best memory together? You took me to Paris. <laughs> oh, that's true. For a weekend. Yeah. And then told you not to get used to it. <laughs> that's true. I surprised Nina. It was our... First year together. Yeah, it was one year, 12 months. And I, I uh, connected with somebody at Nina's work, one of her friends, and, and got the Monday booked off as well. And so I showed up at her place, at her workplace, before she, she, when she used to have a job. And I got there early. So she went to work on Friday. I connected with her sister-in-law to get her car keys, the spare car keys. And I took her car back to here back to our place. So she didn't have a car at the office. And then I took the subway, I think, back up to your office. Taxi. Taxi? No, I think I took the bus. I might've taken the taxi. Anyway, then I had a taxi called and I said, I packed her bags and I said, we're gonna go to Paris. I should like it back up a little bit more. Okay. And then you told me, oh, let's do a staycation. Pack up all my makeup, whatever I need for the weekend. Mm. And then- Yeah, cause you didn't know what makeup yeah, yeah, and yeah, like yeah, with yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, you can't, you know, you can't go without any cleanser or cream or anything, yeah. Yeah, so she packed up all of her cleaning products. Then I surprised her and we left and she didn't know what was happening. We have a video on it on, on, on the main channel. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? Are you ready to go? Almost, yeah. Okay, hustle. Big surprise. Gotta go. Fast. Here she comes. I'm filming you. Because you're very cute. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Where are we going again? No way! Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, we're going right now. No way! We're leaving tonight. 7.30. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. She had to, I had to repeat it. It's like, no! What? No! We're going where? No! <laughs> That was fun. That was a good. That was a good time. Uh, so we left Friday night. We had to rush to the airport to get yeah. the to get the plane because the flights are overnight. And then we came back on Monday. So not even enough time to get over jet lag. We basically got there. I don't remember what we did in Paris. I remember like that. I remember me showing up at your office more than what we actually even did in Paris. We go, We went to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. We went to the bridge. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the lock. Yeah, the lock the bridge. Lock. That it's was probably good. Probably in the river now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they cut it down. They cut down and the locks. And then we had the baguette. And then we had the espresso with the chocolate. With we should go back. You want to go back to Paris? Yeah. yeah it's been a while. We, yeah. we haven't been anywhere in a while. Yeah. That's a better memory than mine. The one that I was thinking of when I saw the question was at uh, Epcot in Disney. I, I pretended like oh. I just met Nina. I said, hey, how are you? Hmm, what brought you here? <laughs> and, and it was on the stairs to the Mayan exhibition in, in Mexico in, yeah. in, uh, in Epcot. And then every time we go back, because we went with the kids every every year for a while, and every time we met, every time we went up the stairs again, yeah. we reenacted that moment. Yeah. Oh, who's this? Hello. Mm. What's your name? Huh? Imagine meeting you in a place like this. <laughs> but here we go. We're here on the stairs. Hey, what's a? <laughs> girl like you doing here in Mexico. But yours is probably better than mine. Anyway, we've had a lot of great memories. Yeah. Still making new ones too. <laughs> okay, next. What time do you wake up in the morning? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I haven't set an alarm for a long time unless there's some meeting, some, some meeting or something we have yeah. to do. Okay, but what else? What else do you have to say about that? No. Nothing? No. Whenever she wakes up. My sleep has been all over the place. It's really whatever my body needs, so Today, I woke up at nine. Nine something. Yeah. The day before, I woke up at six. I don't know. Yeah. I would say I'm probably in the 7.30 to eight o'clock range. Some days are, some days are way earlier. Some days are not much later. Nine, 
I don't think I've ever slept till 10. I think that's... When you couldn't sleep sick? at night. Oh, okay. Well, if I had no sleep and I was stayed up till four in the morning or something, maybe. But, but in general, I don't think I, I, I don't think I can sleep till ten. So nine, nine and somewhere is the latest, latest, and then the earliest is probably five-ish, somewhere in there. But you get the rest that my body needs. Next, who says sorry first after a fight? Who says I think sorry? I say sorry first. Yeah. But usually, you will ask me first. I will ask you what? Like, are we gonna keep doing this? Like, okay. Keep fighting this? Okay. Or I just leave you alone. Like, I, oh, I just ignore you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I think it's Nina too. I, I, you don't have sorry in your vocabulary. I don't have sorry in my vocabulary? Yeah. I don't usually do things that I, I'm sorry for. But you should say sorry first sometimes. I should? You know? I'm yeah. So, I'm sorry, Nina. Good. No, nothing. I shouldn't. Right now, there's nothing. I'm sorry that I don't say sorry enough. Yeah, okay. You feel it? No. I you said it to... though. No, but it's not. You're not sincere about it. I'm very sincere. I'm sorry that I'm not sincere right now. No, you're not sincere. <laughs> you're still smiling. <laughs> you can't smile and say sorry? No. I just don't do many things that I regret. I think sometimes you don't think that's wrong. Anyways, you don't have that word in your... I should, I'm sorry that I don't have that word in my vocabulary. Okay, anymore. you see? You don't care. I said sorry like eight times already. You don't care. Those are, you don't even need I'm, I'm sorry we didn't answer this question better. Mm. Okay, next. How was the porridge? It's not bad. Better than I expected. I just finished this book, Fiber Fueled by Will something. Fiber Fueled. And. The, the, the main, this is a giant book, but the main theory here is that you're supposed to eat 30 plus plant-based foods per week. Uh, I mean, I'm still eating meat and everything else, but 30 based plant, plant-based foods per week to get more diversity for your microbiome. So uh, half of this book is just science and data and opinions and stuff. And then the other half is recipes. So as I got out of it, when I finished the book, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do one recipe a week to however long it lasts. <laughs> and when was the last time I cooked anything, Nina? I don't even know. It's been a long time. Sandwich? But it's been like, maybe at least two years since I've really cooked anything. More than two years. More than, so yesterday I made the super, I can't really see it, super CD breakfast porridge. And I, I just put a little thing on Instagram about it. Uh, it was good. It had it had rolled oats. It had pumpkin seeds. It had. What are you looking at? I'm trying to see something that's more appealing because I don't like porridge. Well, we got more coming. So it was rolled oats, almond milk, uh, pumpkin seeds, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, hemp seeds, almond butter, chia seeds, vanilla extract, and berries. And I made it, and it was actually pretty good. Last yeah. question: Your thoughts on Sadguru? No thoughts. No thoughts. No thoughts. So Sadguru, I mean, I didn't know who he was. Maybe three years ago, four years ago. I'm trying to remember when we did our first video. Sadhguru is a is a is a yogi mystic. Um, he was introduced to me by my audience. Said, hey, do a top ten on Sadhguru. I said, okay, uh, let, I'm down to research. And I, I like mixing the, the the Eastern vibe with the Western vibe. Um, what I like about Sadhguru is first off, the team is awesome. When um, you know, they thanked us for the video when we put it up. They, when he was coming to Toronto, they reached out to us to say, hey, do you want to come to his event? They put us in the front row um, in this giant, you know, that was a giant room that they had. Oh, I like his jokes. He's funny, yeah. for sure. It's like He's he, very serious talking about his joke, but the joke is actually very funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, he laughs too, <laughs> but he, he can be very serious. Like he wouldn't start until everybody was there. So if anybody was moving or going to the bathroom, whatever, he's like, okay, we'll wait. We'll wait, people kept coming in late. Okay, we're gonna wait. We waited like half an hour, I think, with him on. It's not that that he was waiting, like he was waiting. We were all sitting there waiting for someone to start. So he takes it very seriously. Um, but he's he tells a lot of jokes and, and you're laughing a lot, which I think is helpful. Cause if you're, if you haven't grown up on it, uh, whenever you're learning something new, it, 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 it's easy to get, for example, like this book, it gets dense at points, right? And, and um, can be boring at points. When, when, a, when something is too scientific or too deep into the practice, where you have to know what you're doing, you have to have a base level of knowledge 
to be able to understand it, you can easily tune out and get bored. Where he obviously can hang with the best of the best, but can break things down in a really easy to understand way. And, and it's funny, and I think that helps. Yeah, so that people won't fall asleep. Yeah, so that event was- Most interesting. That event was a couple hours. Four hours, I think. Four hours? Yeah. Then we did, uh, next day, we did an interview with him um, at, the, at the water. Then we went to Philadelphia yeah. and uh, trained with him for two days. And then I just did an interview on my channel for his new book, Karma. Yeah. Um, so it's always fun. It's always great. It's always, always lots of perspective. It's always great to see what's on his mind. And, and I like that he's bringing the message to the world and doing it in a fun way that people can digest. Mm -hmm. you know? I think the more you get different perspectives, the more you can become the best you. So he's showing a different way to do it. Yeah. Final thoughts, Nina? You look like you're stoning out. Yeah. We had a, we had a, it's hot today. It's not really hot, it's just very sunny. Very sunny. We went, we went to play catch today for the first time in three years, yeah. more than three years. Nina has a killer. There was there was one one throw that you did. <laughs> just you just snorted. Wow, and you, your head is very hard. <laughs> I just snorted. We, we should rewind that. <laughs> no, 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 don't. And, and no, don't rewind that. No, no, don't be rude. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And we should make the sound louder, right? Just like no. amplify it. No, seriously, I'm, no, don't I'm do that. I'm very, I'm very sorry. I'm very no, sorry. Don't be We're mean. not gonna do that. That's mean. <laughs> I'm sorry for even thinking that. <laughs> but it was funny. The snort was pretty loud. It's pretty loud. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Anyway, so we went for we went to play catch. Uh, Nina, there was one throw that you did. Why are you laughing? You still embarrassed that you snorted so loudly? What were you even trying to say when you snorted? <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> okay, I know tears. There was one throw that you did, that was, it was it like went a backward. <laughs> oh no, no, not that was hilarious. She throws it and it goes behind her. It's like where'd it go? <laughs> not that one. No, you had it. No, it was a really good one. I was gonna say a good thing. You threw a perfect strike where you threw it and like I crouched down and it hit. Right here, it's like, that was a good thing. Wow, Nina's got an arm, let's go. Tomorrow's gonna do a sore arm. Wow, well, we'll practice. That's what the yoga this morning. We did yoga today, we, then we did. We went for a walk, so Nina's, Nina's a little bit on the tired side. Anyway, that's our show for today. If you wanna see five more questions with us, check the video right there next to us. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and we'll see you there.